Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you notice by the name of this video, it is called Flashback Friday. This is a new segment coming to my channel. And basically I wanna take some of the old products that we loved and do a video surrounding that. So today I am using ColourPop's My Little Pony palette. This is one of my favorite summer palettes to use. The colors in it are absolutely gorgeous and very, very summery. I am creating this look today. Um, and I just, I love this palette so much. As you can see, I've already hit pan in the shade Flutter By, and it's a pretty substantial pan too. I'm not far off from pans in other shades. Um, I love this palette. And it was one of the first, I think, ColourPop palettes that I actually purchased, and it's, it's what changed the game for me. Um, this palette right here is possibly the reason why I continue buying ColourPop. But anyway, if you guys want to see how to get this eye look, please keep watching. Okay, so first I'm going to take, this is the Urban Decay... Um, primer potion. This is in the shade Original, and I'm just going to prime my eyes. So I'm going to take the shade Flutter Flutterby, which is this orangey one right here, and using my Royal and Langnickel Super Crease Brush, which is one of my favorite brushes to use first on the eyes, I'm going to blend that out and make it beautiful. This is one of my favorite looks to do with this palette. It's like a go-to to me for me. And if you can't tell, I use this shade all the time. Next, going in with the shade Applejack, which is this one right here, um, and my Morphe E22 brush, I'm going to go slightly lower in the crease with this. Next, using the shade Minty, which is this pink one right here. And this is my Tetris uh, little blending brush that I have. I got, an, I got it in an Ipsy. I don't know what it's actually called, but this is the Tetris brush. Dye shadow brush, crease brush. Um, I'm going to really concentrate that just on the outer V area. And then kind of drag that in maybe a little bit. Next, taking the shade Blossom, which is the more pinky orangey shimmer color right here. And my finger, I'm going to really concentrate that on like the outer two thirds of my lid. Next, I'm going to take the shade Starshine, which is the more orangey one next to Blossom that we just used, and this Luxie 246 crease brush, and put that on the inner one third of my lid.
And I'm gonna take that same Luxie brush and go back into Blossom and pack that a little bit more on that other third. All right, so I'm gonna go finish my face and I'll be back and we will do the rest of the eyes together. All right, so most of the face is done and now we're going to just finish up the eyes. So taking the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Piggy Bank, I'm going to put this in my waterline. Next, I'm going to take my Stila number 13 brush and the shade Minty, which is this one right here, and I'm going to kind of go tug along that bottom lash line and kind of blend out a little bit that uh, cream gel liner. Next, I'm going to use that um, same shade going in with, this is one of the Urban Decay Naked brushes. I'm not a huge fan of this brush, but for its purpose right now, um, I'm fine with it. Um, and I'm just going to kind of smudge along that same shade on the lash line again, just making it a little bit deeper. Next, I'm gonna go in with, this is a Morphe tapered blending brush in the shade, I believe it's Applejack, this one right here, which is basically a lighter version of Minty, and I'm gonna go and just blend out Minty a little bit using this shade. Next, I'm going to take my Kat Von D Trooper eyeliner in the shade black and I'm going to do a, or attempt to do a wing liner. Now I'm going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and go on my top and bottom lashes. All right, so I am going to go back and do the rest of my face, and then you guys can see the final look. All right, guys, and that completes this look. What do you think? Uh, on my lips, I have the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Doll Parts Liquid Lipstick. Um, my highlight is his Peach Goddess Highlight. Uh, anything else? Uh, the blush is two Sephora blushes that had come in like a winter collection but anyway that is that um so flashback friday seems to be something that i kind of want to do on a more regular basis i.e every friday because i think it's important to continue using stuff that we had once loved and continue to use it just because somebody on youtube isn't talking about it doesn't mean that it's gone to the wayside that it's not a good product anymore you just, you need to use your stuff. And trust me, I am super guilty of not using my stuff and just letting it sit there. But in my opinion, eyeshadow palettes are something that 
I absolutely love. It is the one thing I continuously buy all the time because they, and I've never had a problem with an eyeshadow palette going bad, knock on wood, but I love eyeshadow palettes. I love being able to take one single palette and creating an entire look with it. And honestly, it's fun. It's something I like to do. I like being colorful and I like being fun. <laughs> But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, if you want to see more videos like Flashback Friday, like this Flashback Friday, like this video, comment below, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I look forward to having new content more on a regular basis now. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.